Great layout, live demo, uh, world premiere. <laughs> I am Clara Garcia. Uh, I'm product designer from Pempot. I am Alonso Torres, one of the front end developers in, in Pempot. Designers in the room? Yeah. Okay. So, Team Clara, no? <laughs> and now, can you raise up those that uh, code? Yeah. Team Alonso? <laughs> Team Alonso, right. We have a mixed audience, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The philosophy is to unify languages between uh, design and develop. You are familiar with the Flex layout. It's a functionality we released this year. Yeah. For us, it was hugely important to have a better collaboration between uh, designers and developers, but always using open standards. This is a refresher on the Flex layout. This is already in production uh, in Pempot. So the thing is, what's the, the next step? Yeah, grid layout. <laughs> we have the Flexbox layout, one di dimension. So you, you, for example, have a big row or a big column that controls the other dimension, maybe with wrap. The grid layout, it's thought more for two dimensions. The flex layout defines more uh, a bottom-up approach. So basically, you define first the elements, and those create the layout, while the grid is top-down. So you define, usually you define first Structure. the layout, your grid, and then you put the elements inside. It's a microsite design in Pempot, but it's a plain design with those elements. Let's make a grid design. So we create a board with those, with this size. And now, in this board, like a grid, OK, we have now two rows and two columns. <laughs> so we have two columns and two rows. But we, we have said we need four rows. I mean, when it's, it deploys the, its full potential is when both provide different tools, uh, a different set of abilities for the designers and developers. So, so for example, Clara, uh, yeah. Also, you can check that uh, all, the, uh, all the items, all the menus and the buttons reflect, uh, they speak the language of the code. For example, we have the alignment, uh, uh, self-star, align self-star, uh, that's kind of the, the alignment of the items. And also, uh, we allow for you to define uh, the areas that you... So, let's see. We can now do this and adjust the content and also this. So, I have this element in that. Oh, my God, I have here there and now here okay and now we have this <laughs> we are going to copy paste this now is that is what we call agnostic component with empty spaces you were watching also that Clara defined previously a component. That's what I meant before with the top-down approach. You define your, your layout, and you can even componentize it, and then later use it in different pages or in your application, maybe different screens. As a designer, I always design like I'm going to place this here and this here. OK, agree, like two columns, but this doesn't have a reflex in code with grid. Well, maybe we can show them the code, yeah. really. OK. Let's can you change yeah. to my screen now, please? Uh, the grid layout is half the picture. No? We wanted to have a reflection in, into the code. We have done uh, a lot of improvements in this window. Now we can also have HTML generation. And with a single button, we can create a, a web page with all the HTML and the CSS. And I'll show you that it's just uh, pasting here. Yeah. <laughs> the, 
we are using the, the grid that Clara defined. Uh, the, here it's the definition of the rows and the columns. Uh, well, we did a basic layout for this presentation, but you can expect FR, percentage, uh, all those units. For example, this one was also a, a grid layout defined inside. Yeah, uh, here you have it. <laughs> Back to Clara now, so please. So erase that and make. She's changing the layout, so instead of having four, uh, a four spaces layout, she's putting the top two together. While I was off, off screen, what I did was saving this in my in JIT. Uh, well, I created a commit. And now I, again, uh, copying all the code with uh, the changes that Clara did. And yeah, the cool thing is that we now can see the difference of the code generation before or after uh, Clara's change. If you have worked with uh, grid layout, you know this is kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, that's a bit of a taste of what we wanted to show you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>